Welcome back. So, last time I did not even manage to get out of this place, because, well, everything failed. So, today you'll probably be just testing uh, whether it's a software failure, or it is, it is my hardware breaking. And frankly, I believe it is the hardware. But, if all goes well, uh, then it would mean that the major cleanup that I did actually worked. I don't like this! Stuff is blowing up for no reason. Help! No, 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 no. Get the sniper, really. I don't think I've so. lost shields! Who cares? No! It's not lo it's not your shield that protects you. <laughs> was that Okay, if that was Garrus Wow. One down, three to go. No everybody's dead, I'm pretty sure Perimeter of that. Secure. <laughs> okay, if that was Garrus, <laughs> that was amazing. Almost, uh, I remember he doesn't have health regeneration, I think. Garrus do have some, do you have any? Turian agent, damage? Yeah, he, he's got damage, 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 damage. Wow, he actually has the most damage boost in the whole game. But he doesn't have health regeneration, which means... We need to give him... Medical interface. Yeah, that should be it. And now we should be, well, if not alright, then definitely better off. Now, this is over on Research Outpost, and return to Normandy. So, we have to destroy four of them. This was the first one. As you can see, Geth are not exactly powerful. Husks, on the other hand, definitely are. But, yeah, Garrus actually surprised me with that sniper rifle. That was a good shot. Unfortunately, well, he's paper. He's paperish. It's not as bad as Tali, but still he's really, really paperish. Okay, one outpost down. Oh, boss, really? Will you at least try to work? Please, for a while. Okay. That was the Gagarin system. Next one. Probably here? Wait, no. I actually have no idea. I need to check check the thingy. Log. I need to check my log. Well, shouldn't you go to a doctor with that? Eliminate Geth outposts. Gagarin, Tereshkova, Hong and Vamshi. So, let's do Tereshkova. Why is my mouse not working? Why is nothing working? Please? <laughs> okay. okay, the game evidently... ...is still running. <laughs> wow. Is there any hope that we might actually finish this? Well, hmm... As Skyle Katarn said, there is always hope. Oh, wow. We actually finished where we... well, finished. Which is good. So, let's continue a bit. Because, uh... yeah. We have extreme, extreme, extreme failures of, well, hardware, software and probably everything. And Presley! Presley is a failure also. So yeah, I am putting all this into one super long video, along with the rest of what I recorded uh, yesterday. So, all the crap should be in one. And this is just the testing as to whether this will work. No. Crap. How did we do it? How did we do it last time? Oh yeah. <laughs> we jumped into the map and that worked. Now oh, we've been raying, raying. Okay. Okay, we are in Gagarin. All right. We need to go to Tereshkova. 
and find another Geth outpost. So it seems it seems to be running fine for a while, and then it all goes to hell. Ansarla. Um, <laughs> anti bar. It's new power bar. Anti power bar. The anti bar. So this should be the next one, probably. Well, if it is similar to the last one, it should not be a big deal. Because, well, if the Geth don't have husks, then it's not like we care. Right now we are definitely taking Garrus, because, well... Uh, <laughs> thanks to his last super sniper boom shot, I actually think, he, think he's cool. I don't think he's good, not by any stretch of the imagination, with a sniper rifle in Mass Effect 1, but he, de he is definitely cool. And he's much better than Tali. I mean, uncontrolled Tali. Of course, she would probably be really good if you had the multitasking to control her in the combat, but eh, who cares. Anomaly, and oh god, the outpost is so far. And the frame rate dropped again. So, what that could mean is that this blizzard is actually dropping this, or that another failure is coming. We shall see. Hmm. Doesn't look bad, actually. You have some resource deposit. Is it in the mountains? Oh, this is. Oh no no no! Don't try to zoom on anything while while driving. Could it be here? Yeah. Magnesium. Huh. Could have been worse, probably. I don't know how, but it could. Aha! Light metal! So we have heavy metal and we have light metal. This is this. So, something like uh, north, east, probably this way. Hmm, could be. Oh, the blizzard is getting stronger. What I definitely do not want is to fight... Uh, Thresher here. Oh, we are being jammed in the Mako. Wow. Okay. This is mildly interesting. Do we have the map? Of course we do. So, the Geth Outpost is there. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this way. You smart bastards. Hiding it so well. Get rocket trooper. Well, guess what? You are dead. Oh god. They have the Colossus. Don't worry, this should be doable. It's not a big deal. Unfortunately, yeah, I almost got overheat. These guys actually can take a lot of punishment. Okay, they have some kind of snipers or what? No, it's the oh, it's the Colossus. The Colossus can actually deal. You manga! This was bad. No, screw you. No, 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 no. I'm not getting hit by everything. I hope so. The Colossus is down. Unfortunately, so Pull are our shields. I know. I'm doing what Good I hit. can. I know. Shut the hell up. Taking hits. Yes, they have rapid fire guns. There's not much we can We're do about it. That guy, the sniper. Think we're good, Commander. Oh. What? What do you mean? I think we're good, and then you send a ship. Ah. Uh. I think we are definitely not good right now. Get prime. Haven't seen we're that hit. one in a 
force, really. We're taking damage. Oh god, we have to get out immediately. Get out! Heading to position. Yeah, if the Mako blows up, you lose. Which means that's not what we want. If you leave the Mako, I believe, it should be okay. For a while. These guys are powerful. Oh god, what the hell, we are taking humongous damage. Geth Prime, I am Gethatron. That was actually horrible. We're halfway to driving these synthetic bastards out of this system. Yeah, we really need to repair the Mako, so get in. So, uh... Firstly, I need to remember how to repair it. Like, R? No. F? E? E, e should be, yeah. The same key as the... What you call it? Uh, first aid. Okay. <laughs> this is not good. We are definitely in a horrible shape. Fortunately... Oh, that was all. Okay, we don't have to go anywhere. Good. Very, very good. So, we are leaving. And that was a humongous waste of Omnigel. Ah, well. So, the Yasus Republic of Gamers tournament is going on. I think right now, uh, who is playing is Whitera vs. Elfie for a third round. Which is good. I would like to get. Uh, I would like to ha get to see that. And the finals are actually select versus Idra, which is amazing. And if I can actually manage to open the map, I would like to do another one. Because well, Protoss versus Protoss is not exactly as interesting as Terran Tern versus Zerg. So I can actually manage to miss that one. Oh, those are all here. Good. Yeah, I can. Easily missed that one. If it means that I will be able to check this, uh, check, check how a mass effect works. So survey, light metal, pomal, useless. Okay, the, I didn't even try to. I didn't even try to pronounce that one. Matriarch's writings. You know what you can do with Matriarch's writings. Casbin. So let's land. The Mako should should be repaired, I believe. Should be okay. Are we on fire or what? Now this definitely doesn't look as the f as if the fire was going out of the f uh, how do you call it? out of out of the jets. It really looks like we've been thrown through a wormhole and, well, collided with the sun. Or, like the beginning of Mass Effect 2. Hint, 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 hint. No, I will not spoil that much. I will spoil just a bit. You know, I like spoiling. So, oh yeah, Tali. Good old times when we've been using you. Kaden, why are you still alive? Oh yeah, I haven't done the Wehrmire yet. <laughs> yes, we will finally manage to get rid out of Caden. Soon, my pretty, soon he will be gone forever. Hmm, green planet. That's a nice change. Um, I don't like the boom sounds, but... It's okay, this is the anomalous, anomalous signal, what the hell is that? That could actually be another mission, uh, another assignment. So yeah, we shall go there and we shall investigate. Mako needs to be seven times faster, but we can jump! Almost. We can do bzzz, Um. Oh, right. The meteors. Okay. And here was me thinking this would be easy peasy. Evidently not. 
Okay, oh, right, this is the lowlands, so if you want to go there, we need to get to the next high place, uh, get to the next lowland, and then go left. Which might be a bit difficult. But yeah, let's try anyway. Hmm. I wonder, what, what was the highest level anybody ever got, uh, in Mass Effect. Like, I don't know, 50 probably? Okay, there's red stuff. Anomalous signal and red stuff and get outposts. So we are probably going to somewhere, somewhere where we don't need to be. Okay, uh, I'm being blinded here, give me a second. I will not stop the recording because, well, might break the game again, but I need to see it, something, at least a bit. So, did we actually level up? No, that's an interesting question. And we did. So, what have we got? Oh yeah, we are taking soldier. Ashley, you are maxing out on soldier. First aid, really? Okay, we will need it. Well, not need it, but it will be useful. Garrus, armor, definitely armor. He needs them humongous amounts of points, really. But he must be awesome when you get that, especially with assault rifles. Not exactly with snipers, but Garrus probably with the correct points and assault rifles he must be absolutely amazing. Okay, this doesn't seem to be possible, or is it? I really want to know what that signal is. Because as I said, I haven't done these assignments, I haven't done almost any of them. So, I'm rather curious. Okay. We got in the mountains. And this is even sweeter. And I see a lot of red stuff. Get the heavy turret, really. And uh, no. Okay, yes. Heavy or not, you are gone now. Okay, the problem is I don't do believe we cannot shoot there. This is def oh boss. Okay, we can shoot here now. That's good. Okay, armatures. Yeah, if we shoot among them, we should deal damage to everyone. Oh, thankfully the overheating bug did not happen. And thankfully I don't really care, because we have the Mako! The Mako cannon is awesome. Boohoo! So, what was this? That's it, bag em and tag em. <laughs> bag em and tag em, indeed. Now, this was some kind of anomalous signal. Is this really just a Geth encounter? Hmm. Or is Ashley blocking the access again? Okay, no. It seems that this was entirely useless, except for experience. Which, of course, if you are a RPG freak like I am, then you would probably do not call it useless, but still. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I believe Mako can actually if we go this way? If we go directly this way, you might get to the outpost faster. Whee! Uh oh. <laughs> no, no, boss. Oh, you can, you can actually go here normal way. You don't have to drive over mountains. Wah, wah, wah. Uh oh. Well, isn't it? <laughs> okay. This is awesome, you can actually really drive everywhere, almost. Of course, learning to drive this must be a hell. Because even the slightest step in the wrong direction actually causes you to, well, turn wildly. Okay, let's go, go, go. I think we are on the correct track. 
And the game is actually still working, which is even more surprising. I can fly. Oh, okay. I can float, I can fly, indeed, but it seems this is an outdoors encounter. I don't mind. Those were not exactly bad, if we have a room to maneuver in. Frankly, the last one was a bit... a bit evil. Well, the fact that we weren't able to avoid any of their shots did not help. Hi! Do they, do they have... oh god. Yeah, the problem with the turrets, well not the turrets, but these places, is that if you... oh, there's a sniper again. Okay, we have to get rid of the snipers. We know from last time they are the real threat. Everybody else can be avoided. Okay, you cannot get this guy easily. So, now we have to get in. Uh oh. <laughs> Go. Yeah, see, uh, these threats are actually heavily, heavily fortified from the front. If we can get them from the back, while not getting devoured by these guys. And by devoured, I of course mean destroyed. Think we're good, Commander? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, groin. Great. Oh, we have to destroy the dropship, really. Can you help? I can't see anything. Oh, We're hit. Hold compromise. Taking hits. Okay, fuck you for a while. One more outpost left. The uh -oh. sooner we get rid of it, the sooner this cluster is secure. You don't have to kill them, the dropship is down. The problem is the Mako. That counts also for the Mako. You know what? Because we can. And because we need experience. Think we're good, Commander. No, we are not. I distinctly remember there being red dots. I've lost shields! Oh, who cares? Oh, wait. You don't have immunity yet. Okay, you care. See how incredibly precise you are if you crouch and aim. Yeah. That will be Clear. extremely useful later. Because right now what we've been doing were, well, mainly encounters. Well, were mainly short range encounters. You know, just run in and kill them. Yeah, that will not last for a while, uh, for long. So let's return to Normandy. I believe this was the third outpost. Yeah, so let's do the final one. And since this setting seems to work, I will say seems. Uh, yeah, since this setting seems to work, I will finish this video and start next one after the compression. And well, we'll take it. We'll take it as an official one. Now, Vamshi, the last one in Armstrong Nebula. The Geth operating in the Skillian Verge. Well, well, well. So, Maji? Okay. First try. Good. This planet is full of lava. Is it useful? Of course not. But we may find some heavy metal. All the metal and all. We are the chosen. <laughs> yeah, I just... Um, misplace the words a bit, I mean like every single one of them, but... Oh! Well, that moon actu- uh, that, uh, well, moon sun, that thingy, uh, if you've played Mass Effect 2, does it look familiar? <laughs> Let's do the outpost. Yeah, it definitely looks familiar to me. I doubt there. I really, really doubt there is a uh, any connection. But still, it really looks nice. Okay, I really don't think that is sand. Uh, that is snow on this planet. 
But everything is red. Do you like red? I hope you do. Okay, this is the low... Oh, it's in the mountains. Great. Remember the good old times where we actually had to drive there? You know, using the road. Let's revisit those. Because I don't really intend to do this. Well, clock God, they have a lot of towers there. The question is where? Where exactly? Okay, they can see us. I cannot see them, but they definitely can see us. Okay. Ah, there you are. Enemy sighted. Yes, 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 I know. We are dealing with them. Oh, that's a lot of turrets. I believe the Geth have Tourette Syndrome. This was not funny, this was not intended to be funny, it was, this was intended to be mock funny. Uh, okay, where is the last one? Okay, it is possibly hidden. Let's go. So, destroying the Geth dropship. Well, well, well. Now that is new. And I really mean it, I don't count destroying the Geth dropship from inside as uh, a feat, but still, okay, I know you are there. What? That is a tower? Really? Yeah, it is. Wow. No, 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 no. I want my normal zoo. I like my normal zoo. If the zoom was a bit stronger, it would be like my glasses, probably. Ah well. Oh, get heavy turret. How oh, I totally did not miss. Oh, great. We are fighting uphill. That's not exactly what I want. Oh, really? Do I really have to ram to it to destroy it? Thank you, one down. And can we hit you at least? Yes, you are no problem. Ha. You want a manly fight? Just stand there and fight. I can oblige. If you are one on one, definitely. So we are close to the outpost. We destroyed a humongous amount of turrets, actually. So... And we are being jammed. How much? And where from? Oh, balls. Oh, they have the snipers! They have the snipers! Okay, if there is nobody inside, we might be able to deal with this in a good way. Like this. I know we are being hit, and we are being hit very, very hard. I believe the dropship is coming, probably. See, we have to have to go hey, and... Oh, boss, I missed. Thank you. And now for the dropship. We have to destroy... Oh god, it's not the dropship! It's the Colossus or... Yeah, it's the Colossus. Should not be a problem. Actually, if you are lazy and if you want a lot of experience, but I believe you can... Oh, oh god! What I believe you can do is, uh... Wait, wait, wait. I need to concentrate here. Yeah, what I believe you can do is to st start the enemies, uh... Start to damage the enemies by using the Mako Cannon, and then... Finish them off for experience. In a normal way. I'm surprised. I figured one of these outposts would be the main base of operations for this incursion. No. Nope. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Ah, oh, balls. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location <laughs> and go take it out. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. You just said that. But we leveled up, I believe. Yeah. Soldier points. And we are full. So the next mission we'll be doing is the Rogue VI, definitely. As for you... 
<laughs> yeah, first aid. Yes, we will keep her until the until the end of the game, almost. Assault rifles, tactical armor. Yeah, he needs health. <laughs> he definitely needs health. So it is inside this star cluster, you say? That's what I like to hear. Let's return to Normandy. So, and I was hoping we would finish this fast. Well, evidently not. But I believe Elfie vs. White Dry is still going on, so we have we have time. Okay, this star cluster. Um, could it be this? Okay. Braggle. Survey. Turian Insignia. Ugh. Oh, that's where we are, okay. Elmos? <laughs> Elmos, indeed. Okay, there's nothing here. Grissom! This wasn't here before. Okay. Evidently that is the way to go. You know, because we don't need to use logic to decide that. Benda! Ha! The prisoner of Benda. Zaherux? Zairux? Zairus? Cyrus? Milus? Milus Cyrus? Oh, Solcrum and Noten Ban. This is definitely not a ban. And Solcrum, the small moon of banning planet. Let's finish off the Geth. Let's destroy their, ma their main base, and let's see the lamentation of their wives. If they have any. Oh great, they drop us from space again. No, this is just night sky, good. We did not fall, well, 7000 miles. Okay, level 1 hazard. This is bad. What is this? This is an anomaly, debris, and quest location. Yes, that is the technical term in space jargon. It is a quest location. Whee! Okay, do not repeat that. Oh, wow. Could that be it? No, I want the zoom. Hi! <laughs> What's shooting me? What's shooting me? I cannot see anything! I'm stupid! Okay, uh... I might have been wrong here. Okay, this might have been a dumb idea, because... I don't know whether we can actually hit him. Doesn't seem so. Well, they don't have problems. Okay, one down, good. Oh, those are colossi. So even with the Mako cannon, this might take a while. Ah, balls. I missed. Can you just die, please? Can you? Thank you. Now as for you, you are going to die immediately. Oh, and we are shooting from the higher ground. We might actually be able to take the turrets out. Uh, the sentries, I mean. Or possibly not. Secure. Of course not. <laughs> I'm just shooting at them. Yeah, let's get there, because there seems to be one left. How do you zoom out of this? Ha! Sniping action! And yes, I do not like sniper rifles in probably any game. I am a huge fan of melee weapons. But definitely not used against me in Mass Effect. That's definitely bad. So, did we actually kill that guy? Yeah, we did. Oh, we have to go in. We have to enter the main base. Oh, goody, 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 goody. 
not safe outside. Hmm, my drink is getting cold. Yes, it is freezing outside. Oh, we are being jammed. Oh! I hope that was a weapon sound, otherwise I might have just... ...done something incredibly terrible in my pants. Yeah, give me a second, I will have a drink. It will not take a while, I have it right next to me. Okay, let's continue. We have some grenades, we have some kits, got some healing kits. Okay, if this isn't the husks... Oh, it's Frogeth, okay. Oh, wow. There you are! How oh, cute! What? Whew, that scared me a bit. Oh, Frogeth. More of them. Fortunately, they are not a big deal right now. You are not a big deal also. And you are still alive! Wow! Thankfully, I have overkill. How my ability affects uh, the weapons... Well... Oh, whoa, whoa, where? This is a huge shot. Yeah, in Mass Effect 2 you can actually get, uh, get the get, uh, super cannon, I believe. Oh wait, you cannot. As the last Geth falls, you hear music from across the room. <laughs> what the hell? On the monitor, a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mouthful of... Cap a mournful a cappella of words and innocence lost. The, re the recorded song is dispatched to the Geth worlds behind the Perseus whale. The transmitter shuts down. What? No, seriously, what? Ah well, back to the Geth super weapon. Yeah, they, they, they promised the Geth cannon for Mass Effect 3, I believe. They did not give you the... They didn't give you it in Mass Effect 2. Or I'm... Oh, cry around six, very good. Or I might be incredibly mistaken, because, well, you know, my memory is bad most of the time. Naginata, blue wire tool, oh, good. Alright, I will have to reduce stuff to. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Incendiary seven, and we have to reduce everything to Omnigel. Okay. When I can, I will, I will, well, break the inventory again. <laughs> I mean, break ev break down everything in the inventory. Because we are losing level 7 upgrades. Just because we cannot, well, use them immediately. But we got something that I wanted. Yes, that was the 204 uh, for Garrus. It's not like we can use the tech cooldown, but still. Now. Terminator sucks, Tsunami, Tsunami, we have Tsunami 6, Omnigel, yes, Omnigel, yes, Omnigel. Okay, this might take a while, but I hope it will not be as terrible as it seems. As for shotguns, is there anybody using them? Yeah, I will take it, I will take the Tornado, definitely. Um, equip, Omnigel. Let's use the Omnigel method, like this. Click, 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 click. I know. If we if we just tried to sell them, this might have been so much better. You know, in money. Because we have 400,000, uh, well, gold. But you know what I mean. We have 400,000 credits. That is actually rather good. So if we were actually selling stuff, this might have been much better, and we might have got the achievement. Well, that's that's what we get for me being lazy. Yes, that's what we get for me being lazy. Krogan heavy armor, human heavy armor, medium Turian armor. What about you? Oh, it is actually better, but it's not Sertra. Liberator. Oh, yeah. So, Ashley will take Liberator. Yeah, she's a soldier. Uh... She does not need Sertra armor. We'll Omnigel this. We'll Omnigel this. Well, we'll Omnigel everything. 
Oh god, we have a lot of armors. Um, okay. So, heavy armor, Krogan, medium armor, Turian, and medium Krogan. Yeah. We'll keep these two. Mainly for sentimental sentimental value. Now we need to we need to break this, definitely. And this will not be as fast. Oh fuck! <laughs> Wrong button. Rail extension. Damage, heat absorption, stability combat skin. Oh yeah. Yeah, he shoots once and then it's over, but well when he shoots, the amount of damage must be awesome. Uh we call them Emperor Omnigel, High Caliber Barrel Omnigel. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is a kind of weird decision whether you want uh, to use sniper rifle for one super shot or whether you want his sniper rifle to be fast. Definitely, I think that he is good only. Uh, he's good only in Mass Effect 2 uh, if you get the rapid firing sniper rifle. And yes, then he is, then he's probably the highest possible damage, damaging member in the in in your party. But still, Mass Effect One, because they have very very hard time hitting well everything. You discover a number of encrypted data, uh, get data files. In the proper hand, they could reveal much about, uh, blah, blah, about the evolution of Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. Yeah. Uh, I do believe we did not know this, so I will tell you. I will s not spoil, but it is a bit of a lore. Uh, the Quarians actually created the Geth for their personal use as slaves, but uh, they, they allowed them to become an AI, which is uh, different from VI, the virtual intelligence, in, in, the, in that... Uh, it is actually self-aware. So the Geth kind of, well, went nuts and did not want to serve their masters, so they actually occupied the, the Quarian homeworld and that's why the Quarians are now hobos and have to live in a, uh, in a huge flotilla of sh warships in space. You will visit that place in Mass Effect 2. Well, place, you know. You know what I mean. But we are done, I believe. Let's check the journal. Yeah, Tali and the Geth. Indeed, we will speak to Tali. And we will speak to Tali. And then we'll end. Map, return to Normandy. Da -da 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 -da. Loading screen, we all like loading screens. Everybody loves loading screens. Oh god. I wonder, what was the worst... What was the game with longest loading times you ever played? I really, really wonder. For me, I would say Gothic 3, definitely. <laughs> Horrible. And considering how easy it is to fail there and die, I really did not like that game. Now, where is Tali? The mess hall, sleeping pots, captain of the lab and storage. We have to go, we have to go deeper, probably. Don't forget to save, because, well, if it drops on the Normandy, well, then it will be terrible. Yeah, as for the loading times, I really, really, really have to say... Gothic 3. I have no idea what they, what they did there, but it is it was disgusting. Now, where is Tali? She should be in the core. Yeah. Hmm, warp core. Oh, great, we have... Oh, we can talk to people here? Really? Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Yeah, she's I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's <laughs> amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Oh, I yeah. figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Well, um, we could give you a bit of a lore, but carry on, Adams. As I, I will be, as I will be doing this uh, in one video, I don't think it will be a good idea to uh, make this any longer than necessary. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Uh, okay. Is something wrong? 
You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? No. The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. Wow. This is actually far, far from where we are here. Um, wow. I did not talk to her. <laughs> you want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Okay. Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. You... you... you made them. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. Oh, you can. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. Yeah, okay. I never wanted anything more. Thank Liar. you. Liar! Now, uh, we wanted to talk to her about something else. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. Uh. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Yes, we look like we are on a fire if we fly. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Yes, we can. We can put. We can put. A, we can put an engine uh, and weapons on a piece of bread. So, the Normandy's yeah. a prototype, cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. Humans are awesome! I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key yeah, to the have a little bit of, of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I yeah. can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Yeah, and you know what's the most famous fleet in the migrant flotilla? Yes, it is the Quip Quip. And if you do not know what I am talking about, wait for Mass Effect 2. I will do that one as well. I should go. See you later. Yep. But I really want to give you give you the thingies. Which I evidently already did. Investigate, investigate. Yeah. Oh, Earth's moon. Well, well, well. So, next time, we'll be heading to the Earth. The planet that born us, well, birthed us. Spawned us, might even be a better word. Yeah, I didn't actually show you the Normandy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, you can talk to guys, you can equip them. You have a requisition guy here, who actually... Um, <laughs> we can talk to the Mako? No, we can inspect the Mako. The requisition guy, you can buy stuff from... Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head up? Yeah, yeah, what have yeah. you got? Whatever you want. Well, as long as you don't mind. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. My stuff... Hell, the blah, licenses blah, alone blah, have set me sure. back more Let's than Let's see I what you've got. You bet, Commander. Yeah, about the licenses, you have to buy licenses for him, and he will be able to uh, get you more more stuff. If, you, for example, if you get the Heliot license, you can build, you can buy stuff from Heliot Armory. It is not important because you you can find the most, uh, you can uh, get the most stuff uh, from missions anyway. But you can get grenade upgrades and medical upgrades. Those are very useful. They respawn, but after a time. So yeah, that's what I didn't show you at all. Because I myself have not used it at all. But it seems that the licenses you actually buy in one playthrough uh, stay with you in another one. So uh, that's why we were able to buy stuff, uh, buy a lot of stuff, without me actually trying to get anything. 
Okay. This is saving for some reason. Let's try Liara, and then we shall finish off. This is really, really long. Do we have anything new? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Yeah, sure. I like not? talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in hmm. fact. Well, since you started talking about that... When one of my people that... joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. And why are you we talking about that? We do not enter lightly into a union. <laughs> what about the age difference? <laughs> you make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Ooh, magic Two fuck. become one. Thoughts and senses merge. Identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. Drew in some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. Drooling. <laughs> okay. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. Shut up, lay the down. The union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106. Barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Illegal Not alien sex. You. Illegal you alien sex. Yes, me, yes, 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 yes. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. Ah. There is too much at yet. stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's let's talk about something else. I have to go. I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Yeah, I, it, I probably could just talk to her and get the final part, but no. We shall leave that for next time. We shall let the time pass and leave her to her, no, to her own devices. So, with this I shall leave you. Uh, see you next time. And, yeah, next time the only important assignment in the whole game. Which is the Rogue VI. And yes, we'll be heading to Earth. So, bye-bye. And may the door not stop me.